Ooh, child, child, and child. Mm, mm, mm. Earth signs. This energy is hot today. Let's take it to you. Look into your energy. We're looking right here. It's April the 15th and April the 16th of 2024. Everything you need to know about me, right down below in the description box. I'm going to go right here and get a few cards from here. And we're going to use a couple different decks and get you some different spreads, okay? That's how we do this one. But let's take a look right here when we get. This is Earth Signs. It's April the 15th and April the 16th of 2024, please. Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Look at that. Potent, amazing, rejuvenated energy. Okay. That's really good. I feel like you're up. You could be exercising or walking up and down the steps. Somebody's like, yes, maybe you had a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm getting right here. Let me see what else here. Earth signs right here towards Capricorn and Virgo. Look at that. What's that smell? Hmm. Okay. And then we have right here the secret way, the secret garden or the golden key. Hmm, okay, very interesting. Let's take a look and see what's the smell talking about, okay? What's that smell? Holy Spirit, holy angels, okay? Three of pentacles right here, and the full card is reversed. Hmm, very interesting. Hmm, hesitant, stagnating, full card reverse. Okay, three of pentacles is like, um, okay, somebody smell the money, I feel. Okay, because three of pentacles, it is a pentacle. Okay, so pentacle could be um, money. It could definitely be money or material gain in some way right here, okay? Three, three of pentacles could be working together as a team. The full car is hesitant, stagnant, okay? What else? What's this smell? One more right here to see. Four of cups right here and the five of swords. Ooh! It's like somebody's pissed, I got to feel. Yeah, cause see. Something here is a challenge or something like that. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken right here because like some money is coming. There could be uh, news of a pregnancy here, Three of Pentacles, or there's some new money or a third party or something like that right here. Yeah, okay. Somebody else feels defeated or they missed the opportunity because they was hesitant or they were stagnant or something like that right here. Right? The secret garden or the way, the golden key. Hmm. Look at that. It says, girl, you're on fire. Somebody's completely obsessed with you. Okay. <laughs> you could be modeling. You could be starting a business. You could have intense respect. Okay, so I feel like something here is looking really good in your life right now in some type of way, right? You're bossing up. You're starting a business. You're amazing. Somebody's obsessed with you. You know, you're the secret way or the golden key, or you know the secret way or the golden key to do something right here, okay? And I'm getting like, you had this potent, amazing, rejuvenative energy too, okay? I feel like you had drunk like two cups of coffee or a large cup of coffee or something. I feel like all this energy, okay? Let me see what else we have here. Earth signs right here is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And we're looking right here into April 15th and April 16th of 2024 for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. What do we have here? Okay. The top one and the bottom one. Okay. Page of Cups right here in the star. Wow. I'm getting like you're so inspiring right here. Okay. I feel like you're you're rising up to your full potential. Somebody is right here, the star. Okay. I feel like you're at your full potential. You could be like, you know, number one on the charts or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Like the world's greatest or something like that. I kind of feel the star energy. All right. Page of cups right here. I feel like, you know, you could be definitely getting a love offer for some of you right here. It's with Aquarius right here. All right, so you may get a love offer with Aquarius for some people here. Okay, what else here? The chariot right here. Could be a cancer here. Okay, so some of you, I'm getting like, you're getting a love offer right here from Aquarius and a cancer. Okay, because a page of, up, page of cups could be a love offer. Okay. Now, the chariot could also represent willpower, discipline, okay? Some of you, you have willpower, you have discipline in some type of way, okay? I feel like, like, if you're deciding right now, right, that you're going to move your career, it's moving. The, the chariot right here is structure, discipline, willpower to move this, okay? So, I feel like you have the willpower right here to move, 
okay? And be at your greatest potential. Let's do this, Earth signs. Let's do it, okay? Let's get to your greatest potential. You're going to do that right now. Something here is going to come into balance for you right now. Just pray it, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like you waited for this moment. This is your moment. We'll get right here. Okay? To get to your greatest potential in some way. So let's do that. Point blank pray. Okay. And you might have a love offer I'm getting here too from Aquarius, a Cancer, and a Sagittarius. Some of you. Okay. But some of you, I feel like you're not worried about that. You're worried about getting, you know, to your career or whatever could be the case for some of you. All right. Or becoming famous or something like that. All right. The Emperor. And this one right here could be Aries. Okay. Yeah. Five of Cups. Somebody else is in regret right here. I feel Five of Cups is regrets, grief, and sorrow right here. Okay. Could be an Aries, they have regret, something like that, okay? I'm just getting like, right now is your moment right here, okay? Four of Wands right here. Some type of creative project is moving forward, I'm getting right here. Okay, so let's, let's do that, I'm getting. Okay, yeah, the sun, I'm getting like, you're going to be seen, you'll be known over right here. The sun part is very successful right here. So I just feel like something here is coming to balance. You're very successful with you're where you're supposed to be at in some type of way. I'm getting right here, like, well, the sign of the star is the best cards in Tarot. Okay, so this is the best. Something here is the, this is the best moment I'm getting right here, okay, for you to reach your highest potential right now. You're going to do it. That's what's happening. Justice is served, okay? So, let me see this last spread right here. I'm again. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Earth signs right here is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Your fullest potential. May you reach it now. And so it will be. By the power that's within me, we declare and we declare right now. Okay? What's the message here? Somebody's in regret. Somebody here is in regret right here, Earth signs, okay? All right? Yeah, about a love situation right here. Okay? Somebody's focused upon a loss of love situation. It even could be you lost a love situation, five of swords, you know, it's a shadow victory, you know, or it was like somebody was being deceptive. Maybe you was in regret about it, you know, but I feel like for some of you, you're going to turn this energy into, right, big time wealth or going to your highest potential in some way. Maybe some hurt right here is going to really take you somewhere, you know, I feel like something here is going to come into balance after you've been hurt in some way. It was a shallow victory hurting you, something like that. Yeah, the death card. Somebody's mourning something right here. This one and this one. Somebody's mourning how did somebody was hurting somebody or something like that. Okay, or somebody's in regret that something ended right here with you. It's pretty good. Get you. You have a gratitude day, okay? Yeah, nine of cups right here, reverse. Yeah, it's not what's fulfillment right here, you know, being deceptive or some conflict or whatever they was doing to you. I'm getting. I, I just heard you're not nobody till somebody kills you or something like that. So that's a, there are a couple different things that that can go at, okay? So it could be right here that somebody actually passed away, okay? For some people here, and if that is the case right here, I could be. I'm really sorry for your loss for some people here. Okay, if this is an actual passing right here, okay. But this also could be right here, right? Somebody didn't know who you was until the relationship ended, right? You know, you're nobody to somebody kills you, right? Until after the relationship ended, now they realize your potential, they know they want to hold on to you, and blah blah blah. So anybody see here? Yeah, there's work right here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> somebody having anxiety, they want to hold on to you. I'm getting right here. They really did, I feel. Okay, I feel like somebody be up at night thinking about you right here. Okay, how they really want to reconcile with you. They could be defeated for some people right here. Okay, yeah, Queen of Cups, I'm getting a Scorpio right here. Queen of Cups right here is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And then with the Death card over here, I feel like Scorpio. But it certainly could be a Cancer or a Pisces as well. Or anybody it could be. But somebody's have a regret about love. I'm getting right here. Yeah, it could be a third party. They could be defeated by a third party. All right, or there's deception in a third party for some people right here, okay? Yeah, there was cheating and lying. I feel like some of you don't want to reconcile with them anymore because they be cheating and lying, you know? And you know that for some people here. They be lying, I feel, for some people here. Yeah. 
Queen of Cups, or, I mean Queen of Pentacles right here. Yeah, it's a third party. It might even be polyamory or what's it gonna call? Swingers could be the case because this is this is people right here, right? All right, and then we got people over here too. So there could be swingers or whatever could be the case. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not with fulfillment. You know, that, that could be another thing. Maybe something here is not with fulfillment. Okay, the fact that somebody was doing the swinging. Because cause maybe somebody fell in love with somebody or something like that. <laughs> could be the case here. Yeah, tower right here. Yeah, somebody was lusting or something like that. Like, so again, for some people here, they were swingers, right? Somebody started lusting. I don't know if they fell in love or what happened. Just like that. You know, could be the case. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's what I have here. One more card right here, please. Yeah, page of cups right here. So I feel like for some of you, somebody's lusting about you, I feel, right? Like, yeah. Well, somebody here could feel like it's a hopeless romantic since they be sw they're swingers or whatever else they be doing here, okay? Nine of Swords right here. They have anxiety. Mm -hmm. What's the Nine of Swords? Neck of Wands right here. Yeah, I feel like you realize somebody was lusting or they be, you know, whatever they be doing. <laughs> it's pretty huge, okay? They all extend themselves right here, I feel. And then they realize you know right here something about lusting right here, right? Or polyamory or whatever else, swingers, okay? So that's what I have here, okay? I thank you so much for taking a look. And I say you all peace, blessings, love, and lights. Namaste to you.